Well, Fox 10 News is your back to school authority. Many schools don't start until tomorrow, but Satsuma City Schools getting a jump. They're just happy to be back in the classroom. Here's Fox 10 News Gianni Navarro with the story. Students in Satsuma back in class this week for in person learning. Oh, it is great. I mean, it's outstanding and we're uh, pleased to be back in school. This is where kids need to be. Satsuma City Schools Superintendent Dr. Bart Reeves overjoyed to see students learning in a classroom and not from a computer. Well, they learn best when they're in front of their teachers. Not Every kid uh, can go home and watch a computer and, and learn from the computer and and we saw that we experienced that last year but but when it comes to face to face learning we know that's the best instruction for our kids. With COVID-19 surging and cases in the pediatric community on the rise, Dr. Reeve says safety will always come first. School safety, that's what we do first. Education is a second priority, but school safety is, is the first priority. In order to continue to keep students safe and in school, all Satsuma schools will follow the Alabama Department of Public Health and CDC's guidelines. This year, of course, uh, as recommended by the CDC, uh, we have the three foot uh, social distancing rule as opposed to six feet from last year. We're encouraged by that because we believe we will not be quarantining as many students this upcoming year as we did last year. Masks are also required for all students. Dr. Reeves saying, although it has been a controversial topic, he's had no issue with families or staff not complying. Everybody has an opinion, you know, over masks, but again, this allows us to keep our kids in school, and that's very, very important to us. School leaders say they will reevaluate whether masks will continue to be required or be optional as they move forward into the school year. Reporting in Satsuma, Gianni Navarro, Fox 10 News.